Now, Tongan fashion designer Bo Da Kapu is launching his own fashion brand, Bo Louis Da Kapu. Uh, this will take place next week here in Auckland. This exclusive fashion line has one mission, and that's to create a brand for the South Pacific woman. And joining me now is Mr. Bo Da Kapu himself, Malu Lele. Yes, hello, hello everybody. Welcome. Hi, yes. Welcome. Now, tell me about uh, uh, a little bit about yourself and also the, the, the urge. What made you uh, decide to create your own fashion line? Um, I, I think this was a, a, a long time coming. Um, yeah. From a young age, uh, growing up in San Francisco and then uh, making that big leap to New Zealand oh, to yeah. captivate the South Pacific perspective. And then I think with that, initially, I, I'm a cre- I think naturally we're all cre- creative. So with this, I just decided yeah. to put into action and and uh you know how many years later I've, i'm doing it yes yes well we're, we're gonna go on to that uh, uh, soon but tell me about the beginning of your fashion career how did it all start i know some people may recognize you from project runway the, yes. the new zealand uh, series and 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 now you're, you're doing your own thing can you tell us uh, let's go back right to the beginning of how you fell in love with the wonderful world of fashion i i, I think and um well i one of my first garments that i ever made was uh Gosh, was was in elementary school. Yeah. You know, a long long story short, you know, um, it was the Glee Club actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was like go. 10, 10, <laughs> and then you know, I, I kind of just designed my own little clown um, um, inspired outfit, and then right. you know, for with, with hand stitching. And obviously, at that time, my technique wasn't the greatest. Mm. Um, How so, did you learn? Did you uh, learn oh, from your family? Or? I think um, I think this was just purely by sight. Right. And you know, and then as time as time progresses, and I, you know, went to um, fashion institutes in San Francisco, oh, yeah. and, and gradually uh, fell along with fashion. I probably more the creative side, and then having a better understanding as I got older, mm-hmm. with life experience mm-hmm. kind of reflected towards to the fashion side of, uh, part of my career as well. Oh, yeah. Because I think without the life lessons, I think you learn a lot of emotions and feelings that come along with it, and I think I used that in my in in my uh, garment to oh, yeah. to spread the 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 idea in my head that I have. So, yes. Now describe <clears throat> to us your designs and and, and the influences and uh, mm-hmm. you know what what inspires you to create this uh, these garments. Can you tell us about that? Absolutely. I think my inspiration comes from all walks of life. Really. Yeah. I mean, people that I meet come or just you know building sculptures all that stuff Great. but what i really love is is character mm-hmm. um and presence so Great. the collection that's that's part of this launch is actually inspired by her royal highness princess but Love, princess wow. of tonga Great. and you know and and dressing her for the food revolution in fiji and that will be airing here in new zealand sometime right. soon love um, love the so it's 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 uh this collection um consists of uh you know, resort wear, ready to wear, mm. uh, luscious fabrics, oh, yeah. cashmere's, um, oh. you know, easy, sil- easy classic silhouettes uh, with some bold colors. You know, and sometimes you don't really need a lot to look amazing, yeah. but just that right silhouette and colors and. Um, yes, accessories, all the above. Yes. And specifically for Pacific oh, female, uh, uh, well, I, mass figure women? Um, absolutely. You know, the the one thing about myself is that I don't cater just to one specific type of woman. Good. I cater to all women. Good. So this collection um, that, I'm, that I've created, you know, um, I'm not only created for the South Pacific woman, I've created for all women in, in the South Pacific. Mm. You know, that woman of the South Pacific is Good. really important because that's 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 what we gravitate Good. and 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 learn from in, in different in different situations. Yes. Tell me about the the, the feedback uh, when people put on a, a a dress or a garment that mm. you created. What's it like for them? Um, you know, it's it's. I think I put my heart and soul in, into these garments, mm-hmm. and and to ha- and and I I, I always uh, remind the wearer that you know at the end of the day, you know, it's it's all about you. Yeah. You know, I just put my vision into the piece and then of what I see of them and then the rest will come from them. Um, I, I'll keep it short again. There's just one incident that we were at a party. Another woman didn't know. Actually, there was a one woman, a, a friend of mine who was wearing one of my dresses. Go ahead. Oh really? Yes, and and, <laughs> and then and you recognize? No, 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 no. I, actually, I made it for her for an occasion, oh, right. but she wore it to a function that I was at, that we we're all at. <laughs> but another friend of mine didn't 
didn't know that that was my dress yeah. because I, I think till this day she hasn't really she hasn't she hasn't had a piece of mine yet Good. um so when she found out that it was um that it was a dress of mine Good. that yes i think a little bit of jealousy a little <laughs> ha hatred towards the woman but at the end of the day you know i really appreciate that you know the love that she has for my garments as yeah. i do but at the same time it's like you know um I don't even know the saying, the, I forget the saying, but yeah, there's different opportunities for different mm. people, and uh, you know, so, but yeah, I, I don't What's know. What's been the, the, the biggest project you've had to work on, or the most expensive garment you've had to design or create? Oh, the every process is different. Yeah. You know, I mean, this collection is is mighty expensive. Mm. Actually, putting on the shows is expensive. <laughs> um, so, uh, but I'm but I'm very lucky enough to have uh, a great husband. Yeah. Um, a great group of friends yes you know uh, you've um, got to have the support mechanism absolutely <laughs> you know when <laughs> when you. you know the this past uh, for the the shows next week so it's less than a uh, gosh less than a week and a half and cool, yeah. Cool, yeah. Know, the tension and the stress will be very <laughs> real you know so uh yeah <laughs> so so going forward uh, yes. um, so this is happening next week uh, uh over in uh, here in auckland yes uh, for those that are tuning in um where do you see yourself with this uh, brand? You know, this is the the Bo Lewis uh, mm. Dakapo fashion yes. line. Where do you see it going from here? You know, this is uh, the the launch of the brand is the first step to many things. Great. You know, in the future, there's production in Donga that I that I'm I'm trying to utilize all our handcraft skills. That mm. it's naturally naturally what we do in the South oh, yeah. Pacific. Oh, yeah. So um, so to produce all that in into the islands and keep it within the South Pacific, I think it's great. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's always something new with the, with the brand itself. Um, you know, giving back to the community is one of the important things, but also mm -hmm. keeping staying true to, to my aesthetics as a designer. Yeah. And but also care, uh, caring to everybody. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. So there's also something there's always I think I think this year it would you know, um, I think this year will be very festive and busy. Yeah. Um, however, uh, yeah, I mean, I, all I can say is just keep keep going, go ahead, keep moving go forward. Yes. And speaking of moving forward, tell us how can we find out more about uh, your designs? Or, in fact, if someone's uh, uh, listening or watching yes. and they might be interested in, um, you know, uh, asking or looking for a design, yes. uh, uh, where can people find you? Um, I'll, I'll actually. Um, the launch is, is next week on Friday yes. at the Fale Pacifica in Auckland University. However, it was exclusive, mm -hmm. um, but because of the demand of the general public um, mm -hmm. asking for tickets, we did put up um, um, a limited amount of tickets oh, yeah. um, online at Event Finder. It's just under Bo Lewis Takapu. Yes. Um, there's also my Instagram and also my Facebook. Um, there is a website coming. Um, so yes, so if you just Google Bo Lewis Taco, it will pop up to one of my many avenues that yes. you can reach to, reach to me. And um, if it's not myself, it would be my assistant, cool. aka my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Until I get well, a real one. You're really moving up in the yes, world yes, now. Yes, you yes, have an yeah, assistant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh gosh. Um, now, yes. just before we wrap it up, what would you like to say to? Up and coming designers, you know, mm. uh, you know, there are people that are still maybe searching for a future career, and what keeps you going? Because I'm sure you've, um, you know, you've encountered some hurdles, you've had mm. some challenges along the way, and being a male Tongan in, yes. a, um, in a fashion industry, it's very demanding and yes. uh, also challenging. Uh, from my own uh, experiences, not that I know anything about fashion. I mean, look at me. Uh, <laughs> but what what would be your word of advice? Um. Gosh, I, I think I, I can only give what I've I can only give advice of how I've experienced it, Go and ahead. and I think one of the one of the important thing is is, is stay true to yourself, uh, with your aesthetics and your character and mm. your you because at the end of the day it's all about you Go because ahead. when you're you, you don't have to rely on anybody else but yourself Go Go as ahead. far as aesthetics your character. Um, the way you carry yourself, because as long as you're consistent with that, I think I think you should be good. Right. And 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 travel and and meet a lot of people mm. because you know network. It, yes, mm. network. You know, kindness goes a long way. Good. And and you never know who <laughs> you will run into, <laughs> and when you'll need them. Yes. So yes. yes. So don't burn too many bridges. Or yes. <laughs> yes. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Pito, uh, Bo, I wish you the very best uh, with the launch uh, next week and please don't forget to come and visit us again here at the, the Tongan Radio Program. Oh, thank you so much, John, for having me. Malo yes. apito. Hoeki We're going to take a quick break. Uh, we wish you the very best once again. Uh, we'll be back very soon. You're listening to PMN Tonga. Hoeki Tonga.